Hello and welcome to the news in English live from Mogadishu with me I am Omar Noor the top headline is include a car bomb explosion has killed an official in the Somali capital Mogadishu Somali's deputy prime minister has chaired an emergency meeting on the humanitarian crisis in Somalia Somali president has concluded his four day visit to Budlan state of Somalia. Iraqi protesters have claimed the lives of at least 30 people as clashes between the supporters of the Shia leader Muqtada al-Sadr and security forces are ongoing for the second day in row in the capital Baghdad. Welcome back to the news in detail. We begin with the explosion in the Somali capital Mogadishu as the government is preparing for an all-out war against Al-Shabaab militants. A car bomb has killed a senior district official in Mogadishu on Monday night. Deputy Yakshi District Commissioner for the Administration on the Politics Ma'alim Hussein Filawaini was killed in IED explosion in Mogadishu uh, on Monday night. According to the district administration official, the deceased was killed by a pump fitted into his vehicle in Pulamahai neighborhood in Karan district north of the capital. Security forces of the government uh, have conducted an operation at the scene to search the attackers, but no arrest uh, was made so far. Uh, there was no any claim of responsibility for the attack. Still, Al-Shabaab is known to target government officials with roadside attacks and uh, direct uh, gun attacks in Mogadishu and elsewhere in the country. The attack comes just a week after Al-Shabaab has carried out a 30-hour siege at Hayat Hotel at KM4 Junction in the capital, killing at least 21 people and wounding 117 other Somali people. Somalia is just facing a security and humanitarian crisis with the newly elected President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed has declared uh, a war against uh, Al-Shabaab uh, to bring uh, an end uh, to the longer circle of the attacks in the capital Mogadishu. Somali government uh, forces have regained uh, some strategic areas in Hiran region, central Somalia, following the hotel attack in Mogadishu, with the Prime Minister has paid a visit to the troops fighting uh, against uh, Al-Shabaab militants. United States military has resumed uh, a counter-terrorism operation in Somalia after President uh, Joe Biden has approved a request from Pentagon to redeploy the American forces uh, back to Somalia in May, one year after their pullout from the country on the eve of the Trump's exit from the White House last year. As part of the new strategy to help Somalia fight against Al-Shabaab militants, the U.S. military has intensified collaboration process within the Horn of African nation, which has been suffering from uh, terrorism-related attacks for the last decade, leaving thousands of people dead. 
on Monday morning, the newly appointed U.S. Africa Command Chief General Mitchell Langley arrived in Mogadishu and has since held a meeting with the Defense Minister Abdul Qadir Mohammed Noor and other senior SNA officials in Halane Base Camp in Mogadishu. General Mitchell Langley replaced uh, Stephen Townsend, who has been serving as U.S. Africa Command post since 2019. Uh, there are close uh, 7,700 U.S. Uh, forces operating uh, across Somalia with the help of the Somali forces in the fight against uh, Al-Shabaab. The trip comes just a month after the U.S. has deployed uh, troops uh, to the Somali country over a year after they were repositioned after an order by former President uh, Donald Trump. Uh, the U.S. soldiers are critical in the fight against uh, Al-Shabaab militants and have been instrumental in training the Somali National Army's elite forces, known as DANAB, in the country. The African commander has discussed with his stakeholders in the security and the cooperation as Washington and Mogadishu are now joining the Handis to defeat Al-Shabaab, the Al-Qaeda-linked militant group in Somalia. The U.S. soldiers in Somalia have recently uh, increased uh, air strikes against uh, Al-Shabaab uh, killing a dozen of militants in the operation is throughout the year. The U.S. had scaled down the airstrikes due to the absence of the soldiers from their bases in Somalia. King Salman Humanitarian Aid and Relief Center on Monday integrated the second phase of the emergency relief intervention for Somalia to help reduce the efforts of the drought and vermin. Royal Court Advisor and uh, General Supervisor Dr. Abdullahi Rabiu made the announcement on Monday. Al Rabiu said the initiative was based on the Kingdom's kidneys to stand with the afflicted people and those in great humanitarian need and in continuation of the centrist role in preventing the outbreak of the vermin in Somalia. He said uh, this had led to the population displacement due to the drought and severe food shortages. The first phase uh, worth of 7.18 million contributed to addressing the vermin and limiting its effects in Somalia, with the generous uh, directive of the leadership of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to stand with the needy and effective uh, brotherly and uh, friendly countries, we integrated the second phase of urgent intervention to contribute to covering the humanitarian needs of those affected by the drought in Somalia with an amount uh, of uh, 7.2 million uh, Saudi real to support uh, a food and nutrition program for the children, provide water and shelter for the displacement and emergency life-saving uh, programs, he said. al review extended his uh, thanks and appreciation to all the donors. Uh, Saudi Arabia has been supporting the Somalia in the drought response program for years. We are still watching our news in English live from uh, Mogadishu. Uh, in Iraq, there is a protest between the uh, Iraqi Shita and the security forces in the capital, Baghdad, that has claimed the lives of at least uh, 30 people. The death toll from the three days of mass anti-government protests in Iraq has risen to 30, according to the 
uh, medical officials with hundreds of wounded authorities imposed a curfew in several cities and cut internet access across the country to cool the unrest staged by the protesters of the youth demonstration appeared to be a spontaneous outbreak and anger of unemployment, poor service and corruption that analysts describe as uh, endemic. The protests which began in the capital Baghdad on Tuesday have seen its spread to the cities across the mainly Shia sought, uh, making it the most serious challenge to the Prime Minister Abdul Mahdi's year on the gold government in Baghdad authorities imposed the round clock curfew earlier on Thursday, saying the measure was meant to protect general peace and protesters from the infiltrates and uh, committed attacks against the security uh, forces. The dozens have been arrested by the security forces in Baghdad. Uh, the Shita leader. Muqtada al-Sadr has announced on Monday he will retire from the politics, uh, an announcement that has prompted the protests across Iraq. That's all for our today's English News Live from Mogadishu with me. I am Omar Nu and the rest of the team here in our studio. We'll leave you. Bye for now.